Washington faces a long to-do list and a very busy agenda for 2018 as they return to work after the holiday break. D.C. Bureau reporter Samantha Jo Roth joins us now with a breakdown from our nation's capital. Hello, Samantha Jo. Well, hey, hey, Amy, Washington is back to work this week and once again, a lot to do right away. President Trump is dispatching top legislative aides to the Hill today to meet with leadership to talk about his 2018 legislative agenda. Now, congressional leaders are set to meet in uh, Paul Ryan's office to discuss the congressional agenda. And there is a lot of unfinished business. Lawmakers must tackle funding the government in a little over two weeks and a spending solution is going to have to come from both sides of the aisle. They must find a solution for the thousands of undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. And Democrats are hoping to address that in the January 19th spending bill. And Republicans want to delay that until President Trump's deadline in March. And there's a lot more on the 2018 agenda, especially for Republicans. Now, there are four key domestic policy areas that they are hoping to address. It is health care, welfare, immigration, and infrastructure. And there there is a lot at stake to maintain GOP control of the House and Senate in a midterm election year. In general, if you look at history, the incumbent administration usually loses seats in the midterm election. So if history is a guide, the Republicans can expect to lose seats in the House and the Senate. As for the rest of the legislative agenda, President Trump is expected to meet with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and uh, with House Speaker Paul Ryan at Camp David uh, later this week to hash out those remaining details. Amy? Well, as you mentioned, midterm elections are happening later this year. Will this give lawmakers incentive to get some of these things done? Well, Amy, it's all pretty unclear at this point, but you know, in midterm election years, typically not a lot gets done. And that's because, you know, opposition forces, Democrats are really unlikely to want to work with the other side of the aisle. Uh, they're really gonna need 60 Republican votes to really get anything accomplished in this Congress. You know, Republicans say that infrastructure and welfare are their top priorities, but you know, obviously it's easier said than done, Amy. Sending it back to you. Absolutely, again, Samantha Jones. Joe Roth in D.C. for us. Thank you so much.